the back. Well, yeah, I know, of course, but I'm saying uh, we were looking at the Ram before when you came over during the summer or something, and you were saying you like the Ram badges and stuff. I said, should we debadge? And you said no. Are we talking about the Chevy here? Are you talking about debadging the Chevy or the Ram? I'm talking about the Chevy, but I figured since you had that, you had those thoughts about the Ram, that you. Would... Um, I don't know. Personally, doesn't really matter to me. I think I think I should have a badge at least on the front or the back. Like these badge broke both looks kind of weird. So if you get like an aftermarket grill on the front and you don't have the badge up there, you should have something on the back. What about the doors? Yeah, I mean I don't care about that. You can debadge that. So are you are you gonna debadge? Uh, there's no no it looks stupid. There's no point. You don't really have anything to debadge, honestly. I have that Ford lettering on the tailgate, the F-150 badges, and then I have the Ford logo on the grill, and that's it. I guess if you did debadge the F-150 things, it would look good. That's pretty much the only thing that you could do that would look good. I mean, maybe the Ford lettering on the back, too, since that's just stickers. So then, and then you put a Power Stroke sticker on it. Oh, no. Yeah. No. All right, man. Well, uh, so you're ready to go and everything? Yeah. How close are you? Pretty close. Well, you're, you're probably on the highway. I can kind of hear the highway noise. No. Yeah. I'm, I'm going to be there soon, dude. All right, Mr. Highway. All right, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna be good here. All right, I got it up on the map. You're not taking the long way around, are you? You didn't go all the way around. Shit. No, I'm, I'm I'm literally about to be at Hess. What? I'm literally about to be at Hess. Hess. Speedway. Oh. Yeah. Alright, All right, man. All right, see, you. see you there. See ya. Rolling up the mics, and here he is now. And I'll make the rig reveal on what it looks like once we get to the location. We really got to get on the move here. It's we got to move fast. I feel as if all cars, well, first of all, we're back on the road, guys. We're, we're heading there now, and it's, it's a pretty awesome drive here. So, anyways, I feel as if all modern cars, Honda Civics, obviously the sports cars, they're all turning into this supercar look with all the the extra your extra bends and just sharp angles and everything. I mean, I think it looks amazing. Don't get me wrong. But if all car makers and even the cheaper car makers are eventually going to do this, well, are any cars really going to stand out anymore? What are they going to really do? All of them are getting the jagged edges. And then and then I also think about, especially just like my Silverado here, if you get into an accident, you would probably total your vehicle almost every time. The fender bender just cr crinkles like a soda can. I mean, your insurance, you could just say, well, your your insurance could take over it and everything, but you're, you're going to be paying such high rates because insurance rates are probably only going to keep going up. I mean, look what they're going to have to pay for if these vehicles keep going into this more and more supercar modern look, then they're going to have to raise the rates. They're not going to want to pay for people's stuff if it's they're not making any profit. So that's the downside to all these vehicles looking cooler because, well, you know, it's going to be impossible to repair. And, well, will, will any vehicle really stand out anymore besides the old ones? Going back to the classics. Yep, so we're on the road here. Sun is going down, but we are trying to speed demon the way up there, so that's why I got the five-finger death punch on the octane up, so we could really be driving fast. Hell yeah, brother. Well, I can't say that. It's probably trademarked. That is way too long. You can't really tell from here, but that... Yo, did you ever notice how He's most so truck plates start with the letter Z? Why? I don't know. Those two trucks both start with Z. Both of my tags I've had for my truck start with Z. I don't know what your t tags start with. I don't know. Then we got that Jeep starting with the J. Distracted driving. Oh my god, dude. 
this remember that going to that rudders yeah. that's what I'm dude saying. this place is sick we made it to heaven bro this what it looks like when you die we'll actually go over there to the cemetery oh my god this hill is steep as balls oh, oh, oh my god. <laughs> dude this is death this is what are those icy winter signs? Oh, we died. <laughs> Holy. Like, it's honestly it's just sketchy going down like this. Like, slow the oh my down. god! Slow the oh, down. there is no signs. Dude, what the f is this? Oh my gosh. You're bracing on for impact at this point. Dude, this is f***ing sketch balls. <laughs> no line, dude. Oh, oh my Jesus god. Christ. This is an amazing place, dude. A little stream running through there. Nice. Oh, there's wait, chicken crossing. Wait, wait, stop. Oh, I can't move because of the chickens. Let them all fall. What do I do? Just wait, they're all gonna go eventually. Oh, there's some over here too. Yeah. All right. Wait, go slow, it's very slow. Are we good? Right oh, what are they doing? They're trying to cross above me. Alright, there they go. Get out of here. They can't look see at, cause look, the sun. At, look at what's behind us. The thing is lifted so high, dude. Oh my gosh, dude. How high is how high lifted is that? I don't even know, dude. Are they towing something too? Yeah. Oh my gosh! All right, if you were to, if you were to guess how high it was, Jesus. I don't know, dude. An eight-inch lift. Would you go that high on your truck if you were to lift? Maybe. Dude, that is so nice. All right, is that enough footage? Yeah, here we go. Here we go. It's pulling out, pulling out, rock. You know what I mean? Did you ever see that temple video, that temple documentary when Trevor was in it? Remember that? Yeah. They had this song playing in the background. Look at that! Oh my! That was lifted high. Do you remember that documentary though? What if Max Cork was in it? He said, so what are your thoughts about temple and this whole university as a whole and everybody here? And then he walked away from the camera. <laughs> So I'm back in my truck and at the body shop earlier, and I remember this now. Uh, guy said, "You know, I was gonna, I was about to tell you, nice truck, man." And then I saw the front of it. Damn. <laughs> yeah, I, that wasn't the first time, man. I mean, that people, that someone has said that now, because I, I, I continuously get, have gotten comments on my truck, honestly, even from the beginning of when it was stock. So I, all the upgrades only made it even better, but. Now it's just a, uh, yeah. Do you have it? Yeah. All right, bring it with. All right, we finally made it here. Mason Dixon Trail, dude. I'm not going on the hike, though. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah. Oh, is that the dam? <laughs> yeah. What does oh. it say? We are safe. These sounding signs and flashlights indicate danger exists. You must leave immediately. <laughs> oh my gosh. Does that, does that mean, what is this? Does that mean, is this like Oh. A, this must be like a... If it floods, it kind of keeps it safe. Water level rises suddenly with extreme turbulence. High. Oh my gosh. Have you ever experienced something such as this before? Nope. This is dangerous, dude. You gotta keep moving though. Let's, let's get yeah, let's get closer to it for the vlog. As we are on the path now, Mike didn't want to go the dangerous way that I went so he said he's gonna make an alternative path but I am literally in the middle of nothing this is not a path and this place is really flooded they're letting so much water over the dam and I've never been here oh my gosh holy cow this is so sick look at the dam dude oh my gosh all right 
I'm gonna see if I can get out. Oh, I don't think I can get past those rocks. This is so sick. That's the highway that I went on whenever I went to DFR, Diablo Formula Racing, to get those control arms on my truck. Holy cow. This is sick. All right, finally made it pretty close to the water here. This is pretty sketchy, man. Pretty sketchy stuff, bro. All right. Made it out here. Oh. Well, it's safe right here. Damn, this is sick. Look at that. Holy cow. If you guys think this is safe at all, you are completely wrong. This is definitely very dangerous. I am by some really rushing current. And I must say, this is not the most dangerous thing that I've ever done. I've went kayaking at night in rushing water, nothing like this. At least it was a smaller amount of water, but this is ridiculous. This is, look at the water. Holy cow, and Mike is somewhere over there. I keep hearing him yell, and he asked me where I, how I got over here. I don't know what he's doing. Oh, I just heard him over there somewhere. Are you scared, bro? No, I just want to slip and fall. You can't even cross this, is what I'm saying. No, but I'm saying I would, but it's going to get dark soon. I don't want to go to the ship pitch black. Yeah, we got phone lights. You're going to need two hands or something. Come on, dude, it's a party. I'm just fucking 10 feet from you, dude. I'm going to be over there. It's a party. Wait up. You didn't even have to turn around, dude. You turned around and then took a long way around. Huh? You took a long way around. I couldn't get to these from over there. There was a giant gap of debris. Okay. See, you should have just went the way I went. Fuck that, dude. It was easy. Right. So what are your thoughts about this? Badass, but it's getting dark, so. That damn, though. You know, they probably closed it whenever all those rock formations were actually here. This is actually a small factor of what we, we should be able to almost cross this water, but the water is so high right now. Nice. Can't even see anything now. Yeah. Well, like about. what do you mean? You know I said there would be sirens and flashing light. Is that a flashing light? Wasn't that light already flashing? I don't know. I'm saying so it was probably already on. Yeah. So it's dangerous here, man. Here, can you shine the light down by the wheel? Mike and I were saying, we were both agreeing how if it was out to here, no. it'd look really good. No, I was Negative 44 offset. He needs to uh, add a little bit more positive offset. And then get 35s. And then it'll be... How perfect. big would the tire look? I don't know, what are these, 33s? 37. Yeah, anyways. So yeah, just... Two inches bigger. No, keep the same width. What is this? What is this? What is the width? Eleven something? I think it's eleven. All right, so you, I okay. I'd be okay with thirty-five, twelve, five. That would look sweet. That's what Sam has. Yeah, that looks good, dude. It looks awesome. He doesn't he, need anything more on that truck. Is he gonna downgrade? I think he was talking about getting thirty-threes. Why? Uh oh. What, dude, that looks so. Here, let's get closer now. Black emblem, dude. That would look sick, dude. Here, show, nice... shine the light like, on the bed a little bit more. The bumper. I mean, the tailgate. <laughs> oh, you can't really see anything, dude. Yeah, man. What about now? <laughs> yeah. But would it look good with a black emblem? Yeah, I told you that from the beginning. 